Okay, in the last video, we learn how to use these primitives as a starting point, and then we learn how to use inputs to change the basic proportion of your object. Okay, and you can add or divisions in any direction with height depth. Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn some new tools and we are going to do this table. So let's check our image first. Okay, now you can see. I have a good base here, but uh, if you see these edges has a little highlights and let me go closer here. You can see these edges are not like sharp, very, very sharp like blade or something like that. So these edges are sharp, but still these edges are like a little bit soft outside. So now we have a very very sharp edge which is not true in real life, right? So we don't have anything like this like a paper like a blade like sharp So we need to put something here so that we can see some highlights or seems uh, see some kind of roundness To do that. I'm going to use bevel tool Okay, so there is a tool called bevel here inside edit mesh menu you can see here bevel and for that I need to select the edges I want to bevel so go to edge mode by right clicking and select every edge in this case because I want to bevel every edge I want every corner edge should be a little bit soft side so let's go once you have selected the edges go to edit mesh bevel here click on the bevel now you can see I'm getting some faceted here so it had a single edge before now it has a face which is like 45 degrees something like that now if you see here there's a pop-up menu here you can see the segments just increase the segments so you can again just click here and put some value let's say three and you can see when i put three there in every bevel area i'm getting three section one so you can say these things are three section one two three so this is my whole bevel area now i have three section here okay so now if you see i have a very soft side to my table and it it capturing that highlight okay let's say you want to like modify the segment or you want to modify the width of this bevel here now you don't have that pop up here now we have two options either you can go to this inputs here and you can see now i have some more inputs here initially when you take a cube you have just one p cube inputs now when you put some tools or something use on top of the table you are going to get those things here so now i have poly bevel if you click here i can see all those options even more than that pop up menu now i have i can see the segments here i can change here again so again you can put any number here but i would suggest not to put unnecessary numbers like 100 200 like that so because you can get a very decent smoothness by just using four five edges uh, segments here okay if you want to change the bevel width the size of the bevel you can see from from this con this side to this side of the uh, bevel you can see this is the bevel width you can modify that by using this fraction okay if you select it and again middle mouse drag on the viewport here you can change that interactively again it depends on you sometimes you don't know exact value to put so there it's better to like you no know, doing it uh, by dragging middle mouse dragging here when you middle mouse drag sometimes you you feel it's very uncontrollable it's not uh, it's like something is out of control like thing then you can hold control and then middle mouse drag usually we just middle mouse drag to change this value but uh, when you feel it's out of control like you want to adjust a very little but it's not going to let you th do that on those cases hold control and middle mouse drag okay 
when you hold control then drag it changes this value in a fraction of uh, value changes it changes the value by point by point value so uh, the changes you see here is very slow and you can adjust that so here we get this beveled effect in the next lesson i'm going to do the leg let's do that in the next lesson